Well, if you were a great high school athlete and had the choice to play either football or baseball in college, which would you pick? Alex Schultz could have been a heck of a college quarterback, but he chose to be a heck of a college outfielder instead, and Omaha is glad that he did. Midco Sports Network's Dan Aspen has his story. Eight games into Summit League play, the University of Nebraska Omaha baseball team sits atop the standings with a perfect 8-0 record. A key ingredient in the team's early success? Freshman Alex Schultz. High school sports fans in the Sioux Falls area are familiar with Schultz's work. Schultz, Koonsman, streaking down the field, he beat Park in, over the shoulder, what a throw from Alex Schultz. His talent made him an impressive college recruit for Division I football and baseball, but he needed to make a choice. For the initial time we talked to him, he was a little bit torn between what he wanted to do. We left the decision up to him because we wanted a guy to make the right decision. Obviously, we, we were happy that it was baseball, but at the time we didn't know which way he was going to go. Talking with my uh, past Legion coach, Coach Hunt, and uh, he got me down here and uh, I realized what uh, University of Nebraska Omaha had. and. Uh, I just really like the situation, the coaching staff, the university, and uh, baseball won out just because of the whole package down here. Whatever the Mavericks did to convince Schultz to sign on, it's paying off. The freshman is starting every day in center field and batting seventh in the lineup. And just in case you aren't impressed yet, there's more. He's a guy that swings the bat from both sides of the plate, so he's a real leader by example. I mean, he's also a big encourager in the dugout. In 26 games this season, Schultz is hitting 296 while scoring 14 runs and knocking in 15. He's making the transition from high school to college look easy, but he still notices a major difference in the game. The ball moves faster, especially coming out of the pitcher's hands and uh, off the bats. One through nine in the lineup, everyone's got ability. UNO won't be eligible for postseason play until Alex's senior year, but he isn't going to wait to make winning a habit. Being a competitor, you don't really worry about going into the postseason because we have such a long spring, 54 games or something like that, mid-50 games every spring. And uh, that fourth year, especially this good incoming class of freshmen and uh, next year's recruiting class for uh, University of Nebraska Omaha, I think we'll have a really good team in the next three years when we're finally postseason eligible. Well, Schultz has started 25 of 30 games so far this year. He is hitting 296 right now so far in his freshman campaign. He and the Mavs and everybody else in the league having a hard time getting games in right now because of the weather. Omaha did get one in last week against the University of Iowa. Playing this one at Werner Park in Papillion, Nebraska, just outside of Omaha. This is the fourth game they played against each other this season. They played three back in mid-March, and Iowa won two of those three. Omaha had four errors in the game, but they got some good pitching. Corey Buckley, Marcus Ethan, and Cole Volkers only allowed eight hits, but Iowa got three runs in the fifth inning. Taylor Kaufman will knock in another one to make it three to nothing Iowa, but a great double play here. Caleb Polenski to Connor Messinger to Clayton Taylor. But the Mavs could not put a run across in the ball game. Nice play at short by Iowa's Devin Pickett. And Iowa wins this one over the Mavs, three to nothing. And Omaha will play Iowa again one more time coming up on May 7th. Almost everybody else in the league got wiped out by weather. Omaha was supposed to play at North Dakota State and at South Dakota State. Uh, those games were snowed out. They tried to move those games to Sioux City, but they got weathered out there as well. So the only league games that did go on as scheduled were in Fort Wayne. The Dons and Oakland played four and split them. Fort Wayne won five to four on Saturday. Uh, five four twice on Saturday. Oakland won five to nothing and nine to one on Sunday. Clay Hathaway had five hits, drove in three runs in the two wins for Fort Wayne. He is the Summit League Player of the Week. Not much movement, as you would imagine, in the standings this week. None of the top three play the league game. And again, Omaha not eligible for the postseason this year, so it's just the other five here that are fighting it out for the four spots in the Summit League Baseball Championship Tournament. We've got softball when we come back and a new Summit League strikeout record for a North Dakota State senior.